Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? It's Sunday, February 25th, 2024. This is Ben Capozzi with Broad Shoulders Farm in beautiful Halifax County, Virginia, USDA Grow Zone 7B. And uh, I need to harvest uh, and divide some horseradish roots. This will be my first time doing that. Um, but that's what I'm going to do here. So that's what's coming up next. I'll flip the camera around and we'll get started. But uh, I'm going to try something new. I have this video device here. Um, to mount my camera as I work. So we'll just see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> my main concern is that it's so close to my mouth that it's going to be like listening to, you know, like it's the fat cam. It's just going to be like... <sighs> Oh, oh God, oh, horseradish, oh, bye. So anyhow, uh, we'll see if it's that bad. But um, anyhow, that's what's coming up next. All right, oops. <clears throat> so I'm out here in the uh, potato patch, actually. Yeah, let me take this out. Setting up those boxes. I built uh, another couple of boxes today. The first batch of potatoes are planted back there, um, along with peas. And um, anyhow, I planted in here last year um, some horseradish. And I basically put in a couple chunks that were like about this, like the size of my pinky from like the second knuckle back. So not very big at all. Um, and honestly, I kind of forgot about them. I didn't know how well they were doing. Um, but this one... Uh, the geese alerted me to its presence by their gnawing all the leaves off, so they completely scalped it here. But this is all horseradish root that grew last year in one season. And then, <clears throat> apparently, so this one kind of fits with like where I had a box, a box here, a box there, and a box there, uh, herb boxes. But this one over here got even bigger, and I must have like forgotten it or dropped it or threw it out because I didn't think the root was viable. But it is even bigger than the other one. It's kind of like in the walking path. So I'm not quite sure what it's doing here, but it is enormous. And then there's another one here that's re-sprouted since the geese uh, had their way with it. So <clears throat> I'm going to start and divvy this stuff up, dig it up, divide it up. Uh, I might get some cuttings or some rootlets that I can grow out and sell at the farmer's market. Um, but I definitely want to propagate it and spread it around the potato patch. Apparently it's an excellent companion patch for fruit trees um, and potatoes. Uh, you know, a lot of the science on companion planting is um, out or it's more anecdotal than, let's say, scientific. But um, I don't have a problem uh, putting it out here. It is... Uh, a really neat plant and I'm going to kind of let it naturalize in some places. I know that that means that it gets, <clears throat> excuse me, woody um, and not really edible, um, but that's okay. I don't necessarily want all of this to be editable, excuse me, edible. Uh, I'm happier to have it just kind of as a, uh, a rodent deterrent uh, here in the potato patch. And if it is a good companion plant for the potatoes, I'm happy for it to naturalize here uh, in a couple spots as well. So let's get to digging this one up. I got that. Secateurs, I believe they call them overseas, but um, my shears here. And I'm just using my uh, king of spades. If you had a really nice um, digging fork, probably be even better for this. I don't have that, but the root supposedly go quite deep and the plant spreads out. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see what I find as I work around here. And uh, any pieces that are left, you should get new plants should sprout up from there, which is fine because I can always dig them up again and propagate them to either sell or plant around the garden or in the orchard. Ooh. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Tilt this up a little bit. Some 
arms in there. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Now I've heard anecdotally enough amusing horror stories <laughs> about people <clears throat> processing this stuff without wearing like a biohazard suit and whatnot. So I, uh, that's usually like inside their own kitchen or something, but I hope that it's okay to just handle this with your bare hands. I feel like it should be. If that sounds like a stupid question or an observation, it's not that smart. Sorry about that. All right. One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. You ducks. You can come in here, but if you go for the potatoes, I'm going to shoo you out. Four. Oh my God. You guys are going to be in so much trouble. Five. Six. Seven. All right. Now we got a problem because everybody says, oh, oh, is the potato patch open? It is not. Go on, you monsters. Ah! Ah! Back. Sorry about that. Go on. Ah! Marco, no. Go on. Ah! Oh my god, little duck. Go! Oh my god. Oh my god. I love you guys, but you're terrible. It's okay. All right. Dig up a little more here. Man, you hear those snaps? Oh, was that six or seven? That's two more. Wow, man, it did go down. Look at that. There's something here on the side. Ooh, worms, 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 worms. Happy worms. This was two, right? Nine, ten ish. That can definitely be cut into a couple. You can probably get three out of that, but I'm just going to do two. Too greedy. <sighs> wow, look at that. <sighs> mm. 
We have um, pretty heavy clay soil. <laughs> oh my gosh, that smells awesome. <laughs> wow. Man, that's great. When, um, when I was a kid, my mom used to make London broil for us once a week. And she'd put that thing in pepper and lemon juice in a bag, like a Ziploc in the fridge for several days before we had it for dinner. And then uh, we would have it and she would always make a really nice horseradish and uh, sour cream <coughs> sauce to go with it. All right. I'm just putting this back. I doubt that I got all of it. I think I got most of it. Um, but if more wants to come back, it is very welcome. Buck, 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 buck. If you guys want to try that. Hi. All right. So there's one. And I feel like more than one of these could be subdivided quite a bit, especially given how much. Yeah, so what I put in the ground was like this. But yeah, that's about what I put in the ground last like March, March or April. And it turned into all of this. So yeah, I feel like some of this I'll read up on more to process it properly without killing myself and my family. And uh, the rest, I will see about selling it at the farmer's market um, to folks. Well, actually, that's even the rest if I have some left over <clears throat> after I plant it around the orchard and spread some more here in, <clears throat> excuse me, in the uh, potato patch. But that's one plant. And I've got an even bigger one over there and a little one off to the side. So I'll do those next. But um, that's me digging up my first round of horseradish. All this after one year. That's pretty cool, huh? All right. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or helpful critique, they are always welcome. You can follow more about the farm at Broad Shoulders Farm on Facebook and Instagram. Whatever you are up to, I hope that you and those you care for are happy, healthy, and well. Oh my God, that's incredible. All right, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.